Hey, good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. Now, a little later on in this video, uh, well, actually, towards the end of this video, you guys will get to hear everything that went on on the on the day that I was recording this video, and I got pulled over. I got pulled over by local law enforcement, but that would be at the end of the. No, that, that would be at the end of the video. And, you know, uh, be, I'm going to, before I start to tell you about uh, Napanee, I'm going to just do a little bit of housekeeping real quick in concerns to what happened the other day when I got pulled over here. I mean, because I want to I wanna try to be as fair as possible here. Now, some of you may question why I haven't got pulled over in the first place. And, you know, me personally, I guess depending on how you look at the situation, some, you know, I can look at it in a manner of, yeah, they, you know, they had the right to pull me over. And I can also look at it in a matter of they should they should have just left me alone because I wasn't really doing anything wrong. But like I told you guys the other day, regardless to uh, how you may feel when you get pulled over by law enforcement, I mean you know I can't reiterate this enough. The best thing that you can do is to pull over and to cooperate with law enforcement because like I told you the other day that's going to be your best chances of, of, of driving away and not and, and nothing bad happening to you and like I told you guys the other day and I'll repeat this again for those of you in the back Based of the room East Walnut Street toward Highland I mean Street. I did not get no ticket Turn right toward East Market. They just gave me a warning and told me that when I'm driving around for me to use my uh, turn signals whenever I turn the corner. Now, to be honest, I do not recall turning the corner and not using turn signals. But they said I did. I wasn't going to sit there and argue. So it is what it is. Okay, now that I got that out of the way. Now let's get to the actual meat of the video. Now, as you guys know, I am in Napanee, Napanee, Indiana, which is located 30 miles southeast of South Bend, 16 miles southwest of Goshen, and 18 miles south of Elkhart. I have all those videos on this channel, so feel free to go watch them. I will be doing an update video of Elkhart in South Bend at some point. Just to let you guys know. Now the current population in Napanee is 6,949 people. And the population has grown by 4.5% <coughs> as of the 2020 census. Now... Now this is a now Napanee is a growing city for the most part. The only year where this city lost people was during the 2010 census, which in 2010 this city lost one person, equaling equaling 0.9 percent. But every other year, the city has gained uh, population for the most part in, in the double digits and I'm talking double digits percentage wise now Napanee means flower in all gone in all gone language 
And Napanee also has a sizable Amish population, which obviously I had no idea when I drove through to record this video. Now, as far as the economy here, the economy here basically consists of manufacturing, recreational vehicles and parts. I mean, you know, you got Elkhart only 18 minutes away so that makes sense and you also have a fair amount of Amish crafts being made here because you do have a sizable Amish population here and uh, apparently there is a there, you know there's tourism here which that, that makes sense because you, you have the RV Museum in Elkhart and plus you have a lot of activities uh, that are uh, that cater to the you have a lot of uh, activities that uh, what's up what, man, what's up what I'm looking for well anyhow I'm gonna keep on going I can't I can't think so you do got tourism here. You do got a little bit of farming here as well. And woodworking. Which I would say a lot of the woodworking ties into the Amish community. And you also have Alexand Alexander Alexander Dennis. Which is a British bus manufacturing company that c came here uh, back in 2014. Now, as far as some places to visit and things to do here, you got the Amish, you got Amish Acres, which is a historic farm and heritage resort where visitors can see plays as well as enjoy some Amish style cooking. That sounds good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go there one day. I mean, you know, I never had Amish cooking before, so I'm gonna go there and just see how, just see what it's all about. And they, and, and they also have tours available of this place as well. And as you guys will see in this video, uh, there's also a lot of, see like if you look like just a second ago, you saw a horse and carriage. So if you want to purchase a horse and carriage ride and then get a tour of the town, I mean, get a tour of the city, you can. I have no idea what hours they operate. I don't know what the cost is. I just know they have those type of services available if you're interested in that. I mean, because as you guys will see on this video, you'll see horse and carriages all over the town. In fact, you go towards downtown they actually have the garage where the horses and carriages are stored. So if you want to tour this town with horse and carriage, that is available here. And obviously they go all year round. And you also have the Napanee Art and Craft Festival which is also held at that which is also held at the Amish Acre. Amish Acre or something. I'm sorry people. I'm trying to prevent myself from sneezing here. And you also have the Napanee Apple Festival, which is held annually on the third week of September, lasting about three days. I mean they start I'm assuming they most likely start the festival on Thursday and they end it on Sunday. Now that would be Thursday, Friday, or they Friday to Sunday, Thursday to Sunday, something like that. And during the Apple Festival, uh, you know, they, they got different activities. They got crafts, food, 
concert. They they hope there's a parade at some point. They have an apple pie eating contest. They have an antique farm equipment show, a talent show, and then there's a 5K run. Those are some of the things that you can expect at the Apple Festival during the fall. And if you want to live here in Napanee, your median rent prices are going to go from seven ten to twelve eighty a month. Your median home own your median home price are going to be $229,000. And uh, your racial demographics are going to be 89.7% white, 1.2% black, 1% Asian, and 7.3% Hispanic. Now, despite the fact that I got pulled over, uh, I would say if you're looking to live in northern Indiana and you don't want to necessarily live in a real small town, either do you want to live in a larger city like South Bend, I would say if you have the money, I mean not that housing prices here are super expensive, but for Indiana standards they're not the cheapest but I would say if you are looking for like a small city to where you have most to all your basic amenities right here in town this would be a good place to live it's quiet it's safe the neighborhoods are well kept And you're not too far from a lot of other cities that are bigger. Like I said earlier in the video, you're not too far from Goshen, Elkhart, South Bend. And uh, there's a fair amount of jobs to be had. So I would say if you're looking to live in northern Indiana, you might want to check this area out. I think this area would definitely be worth a look. But let's see what other people have to say about this city. Okay. Uh, Nap on Niche, Napanee has a uh, four and a half star rating. And there's nine people that have left their views about this city. Now, nobody rated this city poor or terrible. Five people gave it an excellent score. Two people gave it a very good score. Two people gave it an average score. So, let's start from the top as I typically do. Okay, this one is from 2020, April of 2020. This is a five-star review. We moved here this year. It, and it was the best decision. We did the odd decision of moving away from Granger, Indiana. And it was a great decision. <coughs> the small town feel and the atmosphere is perfect for anyone moving away from the bright lights of the city. The school, uh, Northwood, is the most conservative Christian school you'll ever attend. Now this next review, another five star, is from November of 2018. I like the small, close feel. It's a small town with a lot of life. The whole community seems to support the school and everyone around them. It's a great place to live. Okay. Now we're going to drop down to the four stars. This first one is from November of 2022. 
Napanee is the heart of Amish country. On a typical day, one will see very, one will see many horses pulling buggies and stocking caped men. There is a beautiful art walk with a center for art in the center of downtown. Everything is extremely central with a best-selling coffee shop named Main Street uh, Roasters right on the corner of Main Street and Market. Northwood, the public high school of Napanee and surrounding areas is phenomenal and it's output of athletics and academic excellence. It is a very family friendly neighbor oriented community. Okay, this next one is from January of 2021. Four stars. It's cozy and nice. However, there aren't a whole lot of options for things like nails, hair, or anything really extra like that. Well, you can tell the person that put this comment in was a woman. It's harder to find quality service for those type of things. And most of the time, if you want to do something like that, you have to travel further. But she still gave it a four star, so obviously she likes it here. Okay, now we're dropping down to three stars. This first one is an older one. And it's from April 2015. So it's older. There is only one bar and one liquor store located in Napanee. And I have no idea the quality of them. There are plenty of fast food restaurants to choose from along with a couple of nicer places to dine at. There are about four pizza joints and three other nice dine in places. And I'm going to read one more. It's older. It's from April 2015. It's a three star. Since I live in a small town, there is not always the best job opportunities. Most everything is family owned and operated. This does not mean that there are no jobs available. Okay, that's fair enough. Even though it is an older comment. So yeah, I mean, so yeah, I think it's safe to say that this community does have a sizable Amish presence and influence which when I first when I first came here I had no idea because typically when I do these videos I just jump in my car I hit the road if I see an area that I think is of any type of interest I'll just go ahead drive through it record the video I might talk to a couple of people and then I'll come home and I'll do my research on different aspects of the community that I went to. I mean, typically that's how I do my videos for the most part. So when I first, so, so when I, so on the day that I was making this video, I had no idea that there was such a sizable Amish presence and influence here, but there is. So for those of you looking to move here, uh, maybe that piece of information might be of interest. I don't know. All right, folks. That's all I got for the commentary. Hopefully, you guys got something out of it. And as always, feel free to interact in the comments section. And uh, if you want to help me out, you can give videos like this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. 
Now, there's rumors that sometimes, for whatever reason, YouTube will automatically unsubscribe people. So, uh, if you like watching my videos, uh, double check to make sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. Alright folks, go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video and stay blessed and I'll catch you guys on the next one.
How you doing, man? 
All right. Your driver's license registration on you. you dashing today or what? Uh, no, I'm doing a documentary of Northern Indiana. Doing a documentary of Northern Indiana. Yeah, that might explain the kind of weird driving you're doing around town. You just trying to get some video footage or oh, yes, doing sir. research footage or something? Okay. So listen, officially the reason I stopped you is because I saw you make a couple of turns without using the turn signal. Okay, back back north on the north side over there. No big deal. No oh, big deal. I mean, do they? I thought I used them. No, the last couple times you turned, they worked, but there was a okay. couple times earlier, like just a little ways uh, back over there, you weren't you weren't using a turn signal. So on uh, Centennial and Elm Street over there, which you may not even know where that's at, but that's all right. What kind of documentary are you making? Man? I have a traveling channel. You do? I, yes, I do. Okay on YouTube and what I do is I drive through different cities and uh, talk about them basically. Okay. You're going to talk about how nice the cops in Napanee, Indiana are, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Think of it. Let's see here. Okay, this is just for the right car here. Yeah. Alright, give me a couple minutes, I'll be back with you. Alright. The license is good and everything? Everything's good. Everything's good.
Alright, Andrew. There's that side. There's that side. Right. Please use the turn. Please use the turn signal. Okay. That's all I ask. Okay, no problem. I just, like I said, it was a couple times I saw it, and then you're just kind of the kind of random driving around, like, and then being out of state. It's like somebody usually out of state, they're going one place or another, or just traveling through. So it just kind of seemed a little odd. Okay. But no big deal. You got a story for it? Makes sense to me. All right. All right, man. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Hey, you what's too. your YouTube channel? Andrew's Life. Andrew's Life. I'll check it out. All right. I appreciate all right, you. Man, take care. All right, too.